Hey guys, welcome back for a brand new spring clean with me marathon. In this video, I've compiled all four episodes of my spring cleaning series videos into one super long video that you can pop up on your TV, phone, or tablet without having to worry about the video ending early, needing to search for another video, and losing your boost of motivation. So my husband Kyle came up with a marathon video idea years ago, and y'all have loved it ever since. So as soon as I started the spring cleaning series on my channel, I knew I wanted to combine them into a marathon video at the end, and that that way, whether you're doing an actual deep spring cleaning or you're just doing a whole house clean, you will have constant motivation as a deep cleaner home from top to bottom. And even better, you'll have a buddy to clean along with you the entire time because some things are definitely better done with a friend. I'm also super excited to share that today's Clean Clean Marathon includes a massive giveaway. I have been talking about this in each of the previous spring cleaning videos, but the grand prize will include a bundle of my favorite cleaners, abyssal steam shot, some of my very favorite bath room cleaners, as well as a big e-cloth bundle. And this is all valued at over $200, so you definitely don't wanna miss out on this one, but all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are not already, and then leave a comment on this video as well as comment on the other four episodes in this series, which I will have linked down below for you guys in the description box. So good luck, and no matter what is on your to-do list today, or if you're just looking for a friend to hang out with, I hope this gives you the motivation and company that you're needing today. And stay tuned for later this week because there should be a brand new video going up in just a few days. And without further ado, let's do this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are kicking off my brand new spring cleaning series. And in this series, we are going to be going throughout my entire house and deep cleaning everything from top to bottom. And today we are starting out in my kitchen. I know it does not look like it's very, very dirty right now, but trust me, it is much dirtier than you realize. We are going to be getting up close and personal with all of those really dirty, disgusting messes, and we're gonna tackle them together. And before we jump into it, I did wanna share that there is going to be a giveaway in every single one of these videos in the series and then once we are done with all of the videos I'm going to compile them into one super long spring cleaning marathon and inside that marathon video there's going to be a grand prize giveaway so we have a lot to look forward to I will be sharing more about the giveaways later on in the video but we do have a lot to get done so let's jump to it Okay, so I had asked you guys in a previous video what style of spring cleaning you would like to see here on my channel, whether you would like to see a really long, drawn out video where I basically go throughout multiple rooms in the house and maybe we have two spring cleaning videos on the channel this year. Typically, I feel like that's what I do. So if that's what you like, I will link my spring cleaning playlist from previous years up above. It will be a different house, but that might be kind of fun to kind of check that out if you haven't or if you just want some extra spring cleaning motivation today. But when I asked how you guys would like to see these videos, a majority of you guys said that you would love to see shorter videos, basically where I'm going 
going through more in depth into separate rooms and smaller areas and that is exactly what we're going to be doing so what I did is I came up with a list and I have separate different rooms and then inside those rooms I have all the different tasks so today we are really just going to be focusing on my kitchen but stay tuned for episode two and three and four and five and all of them because I'm going to be going throughout my entire house I'm just breaking them up into smaller sections that might be a little bit more attainable just to kind of tackle it step by step and like room by room but also stay tuned for a spring cleaning marathon video because I am going to be compiling all of these into one super long video once we are all done with all of our spring cleaning and that way if you want to just tackle this all at once you can just hang on for that video because that one will be coming out in the next month or so. So like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I am going to be sharing a giveaway in every single one of the episodes in my spring cleaning series. So today I'm going to have a specific giveaway and then in episode two, I'll have a different giveaway that you can enter in, in episode three and continuing on throughout the entire series. And then like I talked about before, I'm going to compile all of the videos into one super long video. And in that video, I'm going to have like a grand prize giveaway. So let me know what you guys would like to see for that grand prize giveaway in the marathon video I can either do just like one really large prize like a vacuum or something like that or I thought it would be fun to basically have the grand prize winner just win every single one of the mini giveaway prizes that we are doing in all these little episodes so let me know what you would like for that but as for today's giveaway I'm going to be giving away a bundle of some of my favorite cleaning goodies that you guys always see me use in almost all my videos I honestly haven't decided for sure every single item that I'm going to be giving away in that bundle but it's going to be several different things and I know you guys will recognize basically all of them but they will help you in your daily cleaning and then also in your spring cleaning as well and as usual I'm going to keep things very simple for how to enter all you have to do is of course be a subscriber because this is a subscriber giveaway and then also make sure that you leave a comment on this video this is going to be your entry into the giveaway and not to get too confusing but if you're going to plan to enter into the spring cleaning marathon video all you're going to have to do for that one because it is going to be a grand prize giveaway giveaway is go ahead and comment on all of the episodes of my spring cleaning series and then also on the marathon video and that's how you're going to be able to enter so go ahead and get your comments in on all these videos so you can make sure that you're entered into all the small giveaways as well as that grand prize giveaway and as usual all the information for that will be down below in the description box now we have the kitchen nice and tidy. It's like surface level clean, but I haven't even wiped off the counters because I'm literally going to be on the counters wiping down cabinets and all that stuff. And I'm going to do my best to work from top to bottom. That way I don't have to re-clean anything. So to help me stay on task, I just have my phone. This is just the little reminders app on iPhone. It comes with the phone, but every time I have lists, this is typically what it's on. And I always get questions about that. So I wanted to mention that, but I will turn you guys around, show you my list, and then we'll get to work. So now that the kitchen is nice and tidied up, we are going to start in on our spring cleaning. And to start, I'm going to be washing my light fixtures and then my cabinets. And for this, I'm just going to be using a microfiber cloth. And for the cleaning solution in a large mixing bowl, I am just going to have hot water mixed with about a tablespoon or so of a cleaning concentrate. You can use all different kinds of cleaning concentrates, but they really do work so well and they're also really affordable. It usually is like eight or nine dollars maybe for one that will last you seriously years. It just works super, super well and you can also make your own like multi-purpose spray this way. It's just a very affordable way to do it. Sorry, I, I mean, 
Let me know in the comments if you have already started your spring cleaning or if you haven't quite gotten around to it yet. I was kind of hoping to start it a couple weeks ago actually, except you guys know that we were getting our house painted and different lighting put in and all the things. And so I wanted to wait until all of that was done before I actually started tackling the large time-consuming process of spring cleaning. And then I was also curious how you typically go about your spring cleaning. Do you follow a list that you make yourself or that you find online and just kind of clean randomly as you go? For me, I have definitely found that going by a list just helps me stay a lot more on track and be a lot more thorough in my cleaning. I just wanna get to know you I'm kinda sick of looking through the screen uh, Don't wanna be alone summer nights Staring at all of the pictures yeah, That I wasn't there to take Wishing we could be together uh, And it's messing with my brain So as you're getting started with your spring cleaning, I feel like it's so easy to get overwhelmed, but I have done spring cleaning every single year for years, and I feel like I've done it all the different ways. I've done it sporadically throughout like a month. I've done all of it in one week. I've broken it up and done it room by room. I've just kind of done it with no rhyme or reason. And by far, my favorite way is to make a list of all the rooms in your house and then add tasks to do in each room and then go back through that list and organize them from top to bottom like physically from the top of the room to the bottom like from the ceilings or the top of your light fixtures all the way down to the baseboards and floors you really don't want to work from the bottom up or anything because then you're going to be dirtying the bottom and that's just one example of why I really find it so beneficial to actually go through and have a list it maybe takes a little bit more upfront time and planning but then things just go so much more smoothly and that way you can also take it one task at a time and one room at a time and it all just seems so much more manageable that way it also helps me stay organized so if I only can do one room or one task at a time I kind of know where I left off and it's easy to come back later and just pick it right back up where I was not forgetting anything and not kind of overlooking anything So last year I picked up some knee pads for chores that I had to be on my knees for and it worked so so well. I used this specifically when I had to do all my baseboards in our Utah home and I totally underestimated how long I would be on my knees for cleaning the bottom of the cabinets and the kick plates and after a while I was really wishing that I took the time to use them this year. Thankfully we just had our baseboards painted and so I don't actually have to focus on our baseboards which is great because that is one of my least favorite spring cleaning chores but if you are having to do baseboards this year which I feel like majority of the time you do need to do those or if you have a lot of other things where you're needing to be on your knees a lot I would definitely suggest investing in a nice pair of knee pads you can just find them on Amazon or kind of all over the place and I will link my favorite ones down below but they are so worth it to just grab them put them on and it really does save your knees after a long day of cleaning
Okay, so we have got a good bit done. It kind of looks better, <laughs> but I know it feels better. These cabinets are just so worn down that even when you wipe them down great, they just still kind of look dirty, but that's okay. It is clean. So next I'm gonna work on our bar stools and then we'll work on some of the appliances. Oven and microwave and stove. And then we'll just continue on down our list. Just feels like a lot sometimes, especially when you're going like in such detail in one specific room. But you know that we are making it down our list. Honestly, having a list is like very motivating to see what you've done and then see like that list kind of dwindle, but let's keep to it. When I'm fighting. Would you fight with me? Would you dive in when the water's deep? Who knows where I'm going? You're the place where I begin. Now I'm running. So for our bar stools, I'm just wiping these down with my e-cloth and some water. But if you have microfiber furniture really anywhere in your house, typically window cleaner will work so well. And one thing I love about using that is it doesn't leave water spots. But as always, try new things like that in inconspicuous spots first. And that way you know if it'll take well to your specific furniture. You're the place where I begin. When you're falling, falling out of reach, I'll be the tide that's bringing you home to me. And when the sun sets, the light's fading. Ooh. We'll hang on to the moment as far as our eyes. So for me, cleaning the oven is something I do several times a year, which makes it nice during spring cleaning because it's not like a whole year of caked on food. But honestly, even if I only clean this once a year, I feel like I would still use the same steps. It would just be a lot more elbow grease. But all I'm doing is just sprinkling on some Bon Ami cleaner. And then I just drizzle a little bit of water to kind of create a paste and scrub that in. And then I actually let that sit for just a few minutes to kind of do a little bit of the work for me. And then I also just like to spray a little bit of multi-purpose spray. And that just kind of helps suds everything up and makes it a little bit easier to clean. And then once everything sat for just a few minutes, I'm going to take a scrubber and just scrub everything down and then wipe it away with a clean cloth. And because this is a 16 year old oven, it doesn't look new, but it does look pretty good and it definitely feels so much cleaner.
Thinning a microwave is one of those things that has so many different great effective ways to get it clean, but let me know in the comments what is your favorite way to clean your microwave. Just like our oven, our microwave is something that I clean multiple times a year, like honestly probably multiple times a month. I feel like especially now that we have a almost preteen in the house, our microwave is getting used more than ever, meaning it needs to be cleaned more than ever. But because I do clean it fairly often, all I'm doing here is just spraying it down with a multi-purpose spray and then wiping it down with a cloth and that's really all I need to do but if you don't clean it as often you might need to do a little bit more of an intense clean in there. Okay, I'm honestly kind of surprised that behind the fridge is not a lot dirtier. If you remember my spring cleaning videos from our Utah home, behind the fridge was always just wild. And I was expecting the same thing here, but I think when the painters pulled the fridge out to paint back here, I think they must have grabbed a few things because I'm sure that it just had not stayed this clean. But even still, like it's still dusty and dirty and like whatever that is down in there, that's really dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe everything down sweep everything up and get that looking nice. slightly reorganize my pantry not really reorganize it just like make sure that everything's in its spot it's actually held up so well from whenever we did the pantry makeover video if you haven't seen it i'll try to link it up here but we completely transformed this pantry we added shelves we added other like storage units we painted in here we added this light in here like we did so much but i actually have not even come back in here to like reorganize anything ever since that video and i feel like things have held up pretty good there are a few things that we need to kind of go through so that's what we're going to focus on now and get this looking perfect again. Ready or not, are you ready or not? Deep in my heart, touching the stars, holding on no oh so tightly. Making my plans, taking a chance, leaving it all behind me. Never the same, riding my way, turning my dreams up louder. Chasing that spark out of the dark, running to the final hour. There's only one place to 
to go. The best is yet to go. You'll have to let me know if you saw my pantry makeover video in our new house. I've actually shared several pantry makeovers on my channel. Some were in our Utah home, some were at my friend's house or my sister's homes. But this specific pantry at our new house was the most in-depth transformation and I just love how it turned out and I feel like it works so well. And I've honestly just been so impressed with how well it stayed. Like you're seeing, you know, I do have to do some upkeep here and there, but I really haven't even gone through and done what I'm doing today yet ever since doing the pantry, maybe like six or seven or eight months ago, I'm not sure at this point, but it really just stays so nice. And I feel like for us, I've just found a good balance of what things are good to be put into bins and baskets and what items are really great to put into their own containers. And it's just kind of helped keep a lot of order in our pantry. So if you have not seen that video, I'm gonna go ahead and link it down in the description box for you, but it is just such a good one. And I feel like the transformation was so drastic in this one. So these shelves up high are the ones that Kyle actually built and installed and they hold all of our overflow and bulk items like from places like Costco and I did kind of want to reorganize them just a little bit just to make things kind of work for us a little bit better. They had gotten a bit messy up here and then I also kind of moved things around so it made a huge difference to go ahead and just kind of reorganize the space. And it really does just go to show that you don't need to invest a whole lot of time in certain areas. Sometimes you can just do a quick organization like I'm doing here and it makes a world of difference. My goodness so I got a new trash can and I was so excited about it the lid on our previous trash can has actually been broken for quite a while now and we've just been kind of putting off getting a different one but once I got this one together we ended up realizing it wasn't working properly so I'm going to either have to return or replace it and find a different one but it just looks so pretty so I was so excited and then quickly just so bummed about it because it was not what I thought it was gonna be We are dwindling down our spring cleaning kitchen list and we only have a few more steps. One of the things that I really want to focus on is our table. I always get questions about where we got this table. It was actually custom made by someone just starting like a woodworking business when we lived in Georgia. I feel like you can find similar items on the Facebook marketplace, so that's definitely a good place to check. We love this table. However, it always gets food stuck in all of the crevices. One nice thing is it is like very rustic and so it just keeps looking nice even though if you look close it has a lot of dings and scratches and dents and marks up on it so anyway but i'm gonna go ahead and tackle these little crevices what i'm using is just like an old gift card or whatever you have on hand this will not scratch it but it will be able to kind of slide in there and get all of the gook out of there behold all the pieces of fortress that once stood the canvas is colors can't hold like they once could Listen to the growing sound of all I've known that bids me farewell. I saw the new horizon deep within your eyes as the autumn leaves fell. And I'm in love. Yeah, I'm in love. You broke me like the dawn breaks through the night.
What do the hands if there's nothing that they hold? And what could our hearts if we bury them all alone? Oh, everything I knew is turning into ruins in your shadow. And I thought that I'd be ready, but falling isn't steady once you let go. And I'm in love. It is so peaceful once your home is clean, or in my case, once one room is super duper clean, the others not so much, but it's really, we're kind of focusing on the one room. So being in the kitchen, it definitely does feel a lot cleaner at this point. And I want to acknowledge, sometimes it is really hard, but really taking pride in taking care of your home and homemaking, it just does make such a difference. A lot of times we can feel overwhelmed, we can feel stressed, we can feel like it is such a burden, but I really do try to look at homemaking not so much as a burden, but instead as a privilege that we are able to have a home to take care of and we are able to provide a welcoming space for not only ourselves, but also for our family. Definitely that little tweak in mindset really makes so much of our days just so much more enjoyable when we're really kind of looking at things as more of a privilege instead of a burden, especially when they're things that you don't necessarily want to do or you don't necessarily love doing. So finally, it is time to clean the floors. This is not really a spring cleaning chore, but I felt like, you know what? If I'm doing all this other work, I'm gonna finish it up by making sure the floors match the rest of the kitchen. So I wanted to take just a couple minutes and just go through the floors and vacuum and mop them and make it all look and feel super nice. And as always, I will have everything that I'm using today linked down below. And I also have most of the items saved in my Amazon favorites or in my like to know a page if it's not from Amazon.
So I learned the hard way once to always clean the Roborock Dyad out after every single use. Otherwise, it gets very gross and funky smelling really quickly. So if you end up getting one of these or if you have one, be sure to clean it every single time because that dirty water sitting in there for even like a day or two, it is not good. It's so worth taking the extra two minutes to clean it out every single time. So finally, we are done spring cleaning the kitchen and don't forget, I will be sharing several more episodes in the spring cleaning series. That little list right there was a little sneak peek of what's to come. And again, in each episode, there will be a giveaway. So make sure to leave a comment on each of those videos to be entered and subscribed if you're not already. And that way you'll be entering into all the little giveaways as well as a grand prize giveaway. As always, thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you lots of cleaning motivation and I also hope it give you some cleaning tips on how to spring clean your own home in just a second you're gonna see some bloopers of me trying to start this video I was really struggling on talking that day apparently but I thought it would just kind of be fun to share with you guys so anyway I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day and I will see you in my next one bye guys Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are kicking off my brand new spring cleaning video series, brand new spring cleaning series and, and, and deep. So today we are going to be starting uh, and cleaning from okay. in the makeover. Welcome back to my channel today. We are, and then once of, so today we are kicking off my brand new series. Oh my gosh, we are going to be going and we are going to be going, oh my goodness. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, welcome back to my, ch hey guys, welcome back to my channel in this uh, spring cleaning series. Today, uh, so today we are, uh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. Uh, deep cleaning from top to bottom. Could you try again? Oh my gosh. Ugh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode two in my spring cleaning series where we are going throughout my entire house and deep cleaning from top to bottom. Today, we are going to be focusing mostly on our living room. However, there are a few other areas in the house that I really want to give a little extra love to, so we're gonna be doing that as well. As usual, I do have a list that I'm going to be showing you in just a minute that kind of goes over specifically what we are going to be doing today. And then I also wanted to remind you guys that every single video in the spring cleaning series is going to have a gift giveaway in it so I will be sharing a little bit more about that later on the video but you guys know we have a lot to get done so let's jump to it Throw yourself with the heat as 
So I am starting off in my guest bedroom. I'm actually having a friend stay with us and I wanted to wash the bedding before she arrived. So I decided to add the guest room deep cleaning to my living room day. And if you missed my previous spring cleaning video where I kind of talked a little bit more in depth about my plan for spring cleaning this year and kind of how I'm going about doing it. Basically, I have made a list of all the different rooms in our home. And then within each list of the rooms, I'm going through and deciding what tasks I need to be done for each specific room. And then once I have that all figured out, then I'm actually going back through that list and kind of organizing them from top to bottom. And what I mean by top to bottom is literally like the light fixtures to the walls to the bedding or the couches or whatever it might be all the way down to the ground. And that way I know that I'm getting everything done. I'm also not dirtying things that I'm going to have to go back and clean later. And then another change that I made to my spring cleaning this year is instead of doing all of this in like one or two days and just making it insanely long days where I'm doing the kitchen and the living room and the bathrooms and my closet and kind of everything, I'm actually just focusing on one to two rooms a day. And today is going to be our living room day. And then also, like I said, I'm focusing on the guest bedroom a little bit as well. And of course, I am going to be sharing all of it. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm gonna be sharing for the spring cleaning series, as well as upcoming makeovers and just all the things to share on my channel. So while the bedding was being washed, I started in our living room since that was going to be my main focus of today. And nine out of 10 times, I will do a tidy before I start my deep cleaning. I feel like it helps me stay focused and it also helps me not feel so overwhelmed in a cluttered space. So that's kind of what I'm starting out with in here is just doing a quick tidy so that everything's nice and put together. And then I'm just following my spring cleaning list that I made on my iPhone, which is just on the reminders app, which I always get questions about. And that just helps me stay on task and also not forget anything and if you have any spring cleaning tips comment them down below I'm sure we can all benefit from reading them and just learning different things from each other Like I shared earlier in the video, I'm going to be including a giveaway in every single one of my spring cleaning episodes. This is just another opportunity for me to give back to you guys and then also just get a little excited about spring cleaning. So in today's giveaway, I'm going to be giving away a Bissell Steam Shot. I have been using this for years. If you guys have been a part of my channel for a long time, you guys have seen me use it countless times and I'm going to be using it on our windowsills a little bit later on in the video so you'll get to kind of see an up close and personal shot of it working. But all you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure that you are subscribed because this is a subscriber giveaway and then make sure that you're also leaving a comment on today's video and that will be your entry for this giveaway and then I also wanted to let you know that once we are done with this series I'm going to be compiling all these videos into one super long spring cleaning marathon video and in that video I'm going to be sharing a grand prize giveaway which I think the prize for that is going to be all of the smaller giveaways that we are doing in each of the little episodes so if you want to get entered into that one then just make sure that you're leaving a comment on each of the episodes in the series and that's all you'll have to do to get entered into the grand prize giveaway so good luck and as always, I will have all that information down below in the description box. Still repeating I have even with the one in one in sign. Please, please help me out. Frustrated as this is the selfish world that we've been given. Oh, can we try and help each other out? So 
So as you're beginning your spring cleaning process for 2022, or if you're already in the middle of it, do your best to not get overwhelmed. And the best way that I found to kind of stay on top of spring cleaning without letting it kind of run my mind and just stress me out is actually making a list kind of like I talked about earlier and then organizing it from top to bottom, like the top of the room all the way down to the floors and then just follow it. I feel like as long as I have a detailed list to follow, I can just follow it and zone out. So you can put on a podcast, music, audiobook, listen to a YouTube video and just let yourself totally zone out as you make your way through the list. La, la, la. So you'll have to let me know if you chop your pillows or not. Liam was asking me the other day why I chop them and I told him that to me it makes the pillow look a little bit more fluffy and more comfy. So when we were doing our family cleanup one night, I looked over and saw him chopping the pillows so intensely. It just made me crack up mostly because of how intensely he was chopping the pillows. But it also is just so neat to see how much kids really do watch you and just doing so many of the things that you do. All right, we have the couches all tackled. I do want to condition the leather. This is our first time having like leather couches. So if you guys have any information on that, I really don't want to ruin them or anything. So let me know if you have anything that you've tried and it works. But for now, we're just going to call the couches good. I do want to pull all the furniture out of the living room because I really want to get a good, good, good solid deep clean on the rug. So I'm going to go ahead and slow vacuum everything. And then once we have everything pulled out, I'll probably go ahead and tackle the windows before I move the furniture back in and then I also really want to carpet clean these little armchairs because they are like a really light color and so they show a lot. We love them but they need some love. You want to do it or do you want me to do it? Yeah. Yeah. In the shot? I feel like our furniture has been out of place so much this year between getting all the new lighting put in, moving it all around to get the house painted, and now finally we are spring cleaning and it's just been one thing after the other for us, it feels. I have to say between all those different reasons, it has been so worth it to be moving our furniture in and out of where they're actually belonging, but I am so happy that this should be the very last time for quite a while that we have to actually move our furniture. But anyway, here I'm just starting off with the normal vacuuming and then I'm going to start slow vacuuming. So if you've been here for a while, again, you've heard me talk about this countless times, but I love to slow vacuum our carpets, not just around spring cleaning, cleaning but really I like to do it about every two, maybe every three weeks. It just kind of depends on how our schedule is. But all you do to slow vacuum is just go ahead and vacuum your floors as usual. And then I like to empty out the canister and then you go back through it and you literally just vacuum your floors super slowly. Now doing this will typically take me about five to 10 minutes just to vacuum one smaller room. So it does take a little bit of time, but you will be amazed once you do it the first time. I feel like you'll just be hooked because you'll see all the extra extra stuff that's getting pulled up from your carpet that normally just would have been missed. And I feel like it just gives your carpet new life. It makes it feel so much more fluffy and so, so, so much cleaner.
Do you feel like hanging from a cross? Do you feel your paradise is lost? When you're lying wide awake, counting every mistake, do you hate what you become? So in our house here in Arizona, we have these wooden shutters and I actually really like them. There are a few things that I don't love. I do feel like they block a decent amount of daylight, which you guys know we're always wanting a little bit more daylight in our house. So I kind of don't love that aspect, but I do feel like they look really nice and they are definitely so much easier to clean. As you can see, I'm just able to kind of pull them away from the windows and then flip them inside and outside and dust all over them with my reusable duster. And that just makes cleaning them really easy. Now, if they were very, very dirty, like very caked on dirt, I would actually go through with a bowl of warm water along with a cleaning concentrate and then just actually wipe them down the same way that I'm doing with the dry duster but with a wet cloth and that will clean them really well but I didn't really feel like I needed to do that this time because I did do that when we first moved in and they just have not gotten like caked on or anything so the dry duster was all I really needed for that with heaven's mansion out of reach From your knees you drink defeat Will you fall down on your sword? Okay, so this is the Bissell Steam Shot, the one that I'm going to be giving away to you guys in this giveaway. So what I'm going to be using this for is to clean out all of the little window sills and those window crevices. So first things first, I am going to vacuum out with my attachment, just get any of the dry bits out. And then I'm gonna go through with my Bissell Steam Shot and actually just melt away all of the mess and caked on dirt and dust and grime and all the stuff. And then once I get everything all loosened up like this, then I'm going to go through with a dry cloth and just wipe it all down and make sure I get all of that residual water taken out and then all of the dirt and dust kind of pulled out of there. Everybody needs a little bit of sunshine A torch to light and carry through the dark night my stories the same as yours different details in between lost my faith once was blind then i saw the light Now that we have the blinds and the window sills all cleaned, to clean the windows themselves, I am just of course using my e-cloth general purpose cloth with water and then I'm following up with my e-cloth window mitt. Now you could also use the glass and polishing cloth from e-cloth, but the window mitt is a little bit more handy for bigger projects because it is a bit thicker so it doesn't get as saturated as quickly and of course it is a mitt so you're not having to hold onto the cloth or anything, it just kind of does all the work for you. And this will be incredible for you if you have not jumped on 
on the e-cloth bandwagon yet. They are so good, especially with windows and mirrors and all of those shiny surfaces. They will get your surfaces streak free using only water. Once I got the inside of the windows all taken care of, I wanted to go through on the outside and do the same thing out here. Just make sure that I was getting the glass clean on both sides. And I did want to let you guys know I am going to be sharing a back patio revamp and we're also going to be decorating on our front porch for spring and also doing some spring cleaning outside. So that video will be coming out very, very soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. I love how everything ends up turning out out here. I'm still in the process of editing that one, but it will either be out this week or next week. I'm not 100% sure, but definitely stay tuned for that one. So this other side was even more caked on than the left side and I got it as good as I could but I may have to come back a little bit later when I have a little bit more time and just get even more detailed in my cleaning. But I did also want to get your guys' opinions. You guys know we painted all of our interior doors black and we have actually been thinking about painting the frames on our sliding glass doors black as well. My questions are one, if you think that it would look good and two, if you have sliding glass doors and you have painted the frames as well, let me know if they have held up for you. That's probably my biggest concern is that we would paint them black and then they would get scratched and scraped and the paint would not hold up so if you have any thoughts on either of those let me know in the comments we're making lots and lots of progress i have all the windows and all those disgusting rails and window wells and everything 
tackled. Now we are going to start moving all the couches back and then I am going to tackle the armchairs. I want to carpet clean those with our little green mean machine or the little green machine or something, I don't know. Anyway, we have a little carpet cleaner that I'm going to go ahead and work on those, but first we kind of need to get some space, so I'm gonna start by moving back the furniture. So if your couches or fabric chairs have zippers to remove the fabric from the cushions, obviously tossing them in the washing machine cleans them the best. But if you're like me and the cushions don't remove, carpet cleaning them with your attachments does work really well too. So I'm just using my little green machine and the hose attachment. I love this little carpet cleaner because it's so compact and perfect for spot cleaning as well as furniture cleaning. Now it doesn't have the option to do a full clean on your carpets, like a big push one, which is fine with us because we don't have a lot of carpets in this house, but it's just something to keep in mind if you are thinking about getting this one and you're looking for one that you can kind of go throughout your entire house and do all of your carpets this is not going to be the one for that but this is perfect for spot cleaning and furniture like I said and as usual I will have all of my cleaning items that I can link down below and then also a lot of them are from Amazon so I will have them saved in my Amazon favorites as well I just have to say I love our couches up against our newly painted built-ins. It just looks so earthy and inviting. And if you're kind of new to my channel or you didn't get to see my spring clean and decorate video, that's the video that I gave a really good look at our new paint in our house. And in the beginning of that video, you can also see how everything was looking before we got it painted. So you can just see like the full before and after. But I love how everything has turned out with the paint. I feel like it just totally changed our whole house and like the feeling and vibe of it. Alright, 
we are almost completely done <laughs> with my list today. Let's see, I pretty much just have like the guest bedroom behind me and the guest bathroom. I want to go ahead and deep clean in the guest bathroom. Also, I need to bring the bedding back onto the bed and then I do want to slow vacuum this rug and I think that's it, but it is feeling so much fresher in here already. I'm here to ask for your opinion again, but what do you think we should do for this bathroom as far as a makeover? I definitely want to paint the walls a light color. There is no natural light in this bathroom and we do only have the one sconce on the wall. And as you can see, the wall color is very dark and bold and we want something a lot more bright and fresh. So initially I'm thinking to paint the walls a light color and then possibly change the light fixture, maybe even paint the mirror frame or change the mirror altogether. But if you have any bathroom inspo ideas or pics, send them to me over on Instagram. I would love to get kind of your ideas and thoughts on this one because this is just a fun little bathroom. It's our little powder room and I would love to kind of see any ideas that you might have. Okay, the last thing on my list is to finish putting the clean bedding on the guest bedroom bed. I shared in my last spring cleaning video that I don't have to clean my baseboards because we got all the new paint and we got all the baseboards painted as well. So that is definitely a blessing because I hate cleaning baseboards. I do have some tricks for that that I've shared in previous spring cleaning videos, but I'm so happy that I don't have to do that today. But anyway, I did also want to mention that if you did not see my guest bedroom makeover, we shared that a few weeks ago. Maybe it's been even a month ago now. I'm not really sure, but it was kind of recently and we totally transformed the space from just like a gathering space that everything landed in to a space that was so functional and so cozy and perfect for guests. So I will link that video down below for you guys. If you haven't seen that one, you can go ahead and check it out. I hope you don't mind if I say that I love you Cause there's so many ways that I want to Carve out our names, board a last minute plane, just us two We can chase the sun as it sets 
sunsets in the mountains Find luck like a bet in Greek fountains Or lay lazy in bed with your head on my chest I hope you so that is going to be everything for episode two in my spring cleaning series. I feel like we got a lot done today. We got a lot of little details worked out, a lot of smaller spaces tackled, but I still kept it all really attainable. It didn't feel overwhelming at all to get all of this done. And I hope that it feels the same for you guys. I hope this gave you lots of cleaning motivation. I hope it gave you some insight and some tips and seeing some new cleaning products to use in your own home. And also just a quick reminder to go ahead and get entered into that giveaway. Again, all you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed and comment on this video and that is all you have to do to be entered to win that Bissell steam shot. I hope you guys have the most amazing day. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys! In our hearts where it matters We can stay there forever and after Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode three in my spring cleaning series where we are going throughout my entire house and deep cleaning every room from top to bottom. Today we are in my bedroom and my bathroom and we are going to be deep cleaning in here. As you guys know, if you've seen the other episodes in the series, I am including a giveaway in every single one of the episodes, so be sure you're getting entered into those and I'll be talking a little bit more about today's giveaway a little bit later on in the video, but this is no small task in here. We have a lot to focus on the lot to get cleaned, so let's get to it. I wanna hear you say it. Yeah. So as I was staring at my spring cleaning to-do list on this day and kind of feeling a little overwhelmed, not really feeling like cleaning, but I just knew I had to get it done, I was kind of deciding on how exactly I wanted to go about doing all of this and getting everything clean in a somewhat organized fashion. So I figured I had two different options. One, I could go through and just clean up and tidy up my bedroom and my bathroom as usual and then go back through and actually spring clean everything or I could just kind of do it all at the same time and just kind of clean everything from top to bottom including like an everyday tidy. I typically don't do this. A lot of times I will go through and just tidy up the space and then I'll go through and deep clean everything but I felt like on this day especially with the specific spaces that I was working in I just felt like I could use my time a little bit more efficiently if I just tidied up everything as I went through my spring cleaning list kind of once I got to those steps. So as you can see I started off by tackling the windows and blinds in our bathroom. I do have to say I love these shutters so much. They are so much easier to clean than our last blinds in our Utah home. I think because they just kind of stay still and I can open them up and flip them from one side to the next. But even though they are still very easy to clean, I feel like it's something that doesn't happen all the time. So it does feel really, really good to be tackling them today. And then to clean the windows themselves, I am just using my e-cloth general purpose cloth and I am just using water with that. And then to dry and polish them with zero streaks. I am just using my e-cloth glass and polishing cloth. If you guys have not jumped on the e-cloth bandwagon yet, go ahead and jump on. You can thank me later. They are such a game changer when you're cleaning. Whether you're spring cleaning or you're just doing daily cleaning, they work so so well and I love they only use water. And then once I got the blinds and windows all clean, I am again just kind of continuing on from the top of the room 
onto the bottom. So next up is the light fixtures and I'm just starting by dusting those and then going ahead and spraying them with a multi-surface spray and then wiping them down with a cloth. And then once I get those all deep cleaned, I'm going to start in with like everyday cleaning where I'm going to be clearing off all of my countertops and wiping those down and then also tackling the mirrors and then I'll kind of weave my spring cleaning list in and out of that. So for the giveaway in today's video, I am going to be giving away like a more bathroom specific cleaning goodies box. So I'm going to be including some cleaning tools and then also a few of my favorite bathroom cleaning products. And just like my other giveaways, I am making this extremely simple to enter. So all you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because this is a subscriber giveaway and just another way for me to give back to you guys. And then second, just make sure that you comment on this video and that's going to be your entry into this giveaway. That way, whenever I go ahead and pick the winner, I can reply back to you and we can just get in contact from there and I can figure out where exactly to send your goodie box. So that is everything you need to do to enter today's video's giveaway. But as I mentioned in my previous spring cleaning videos and my spring cleaning series, I am going to be compiling all of these spring cleaning videos into one super long marathon once we're all done with them. And in that marathon video, I am going to be sharing a massive grand prize giveaway. I'm thinking for the grand prize, I'm going to just be including all of the prizes in the giveaways into one massive prize. So if you're wanting to get a jump start on entering that giveaway, just make sure that you're commenting on every single one of my spring cleaning series videos. And that is all you're going to have to do to make sure that you're entering into that giveaway when that video gets released. So make sure that you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that video and that giveaway. And while we are on the topic of subscribing, I would love to hear what makes you personally choose to subscribe or not subscribe to a channel. So as you saw, I just started off by spraying down the counters and wiping them off and then I moved into my sink and this was so gross. I was actually not even thinking to clean the drain when I was cleaning the sink, but surprise, surprise, my house reminded me that that needed to be added to my to-do list today. In my previous spring cleaning videos, I've talked about how I'm really trying to break up my spring cleaning into multiple days and just kind of spreading it out instead of trying to get all of it done in a matter of like a few days or a week or something. And I feel like that has benefited me so much. One, I feel like there's not been a lot of stress about it. It's just like, I'll tackle it when I get a chance. And that's kind of how I've done it. But I also feel like tackling spring cleaning gradually really allows for cleaning add-ons, like cleaning the drain, for example. I wasn't planning on doing it. And if I knew that I had to get all of this other stuff done, I might just kind of put that in the trash and just move on and not take the time to really go through everything quite as thorough. So if you have done things like I have most of the year, where I just really try to tackle everything very quickly, I would urge you to try out doing spring cleaning a little bit more gradually, maybe spread it out over several weeks or even several months and see how it ends up fitting into your lifestyle. For me, I feel like I cannot go back after this year. It's just worked out so much better than previous years. Like I said, it's way less stressful and I'm also being a lot more thorough this way.
So next up is my bathroom cabinets. This is definitely one of those chores where I have the best intentions. I want to just do this every single month and make sure that they are always looking perfect. But, you know, life happens. And I feel like I'm only wiping down my cabinets, at least in my bathroom, every six months maybe, which I'm not too bummed out about that. It just doesn't look perfect for, you know, a few months of the year. But all we can do is do our best. And then during spring and fall, we can do our best to kind of go through and really deep clean those areas that we neglect a little bit. And trust me, I am not shying away. I am sharing all of those dirty, neglected areas that really need some extra love. So stay tuned. All right, we are working away on our list right now. Next up is my bathtub, and then we're also going to tackle the shower. I feel like these two areas kind of get neglected. I do like scrub my shower sometimes when I'm in there. I feel like the last couple weeks I've gotten a little bit bad about doing that. My tub is something that actually doesn't get used a whole lot just because we have the pool and the hot tub in the backyard, but I'm gonna turn you guys around and kind of tell you how I'm gonna tackle this. Okay, so like I said, this doesn't get a whole lot of use, but you can see like a lot of cat hair and this kind of dust buildup gets in here. Also, because we are spring cleaning, you can see all the little dust that's fallen off the light fixtures and the blinds and everything. So before I start actually washing this, I am going to quickly just vacuum any of the little bits and that way we don't have those like kind of going down the drain. So this is my bathtub hack. I had this brilliant idea years ago and I shared it with you guys in a video. I was so, so excited about it and I was actually really surprised to hear how many of you guys already did this. I had never heard about it prior to kind of figuring this out years ago, but for me, it has been a game changer and a lot of you guys who didn't know about it previously have said that it's been a game changer for you as well. So all I am doing is just spraying my tub with Dawn dish spray. Now you can really clean your tub with whatever products you like. I personally feel like the Dawn dish spray does amazing and I feel like it does cut down on the scrubbing. It kind of does the work for you, but scrubbing your tub with a broom will save your back and it honestly cleans your tub so well and it just takes so much of the effort out of it. And don't feel like you have to go get a fancy broom or anything. I've literally used the same Dollar Tree broom for years and it's worked so well. I did recently lose that broom. I don't know where it went, so we had to get a new one, but you really don't need anything fancy and it just works so, so fantastically. And you'll actually see later on in the video, I'm going to be using the broom on different areas in the house. And it's just one of those things where when you take the moment to think outside the box, you can end up using the same item for so many different spaces and save yourself so much work. All right, show of hands, who else has way too many products in your shower? If you are not like me, I'm so jealous and share your tips down below because I feel like as much as I try to keep the minimum number of products in my shower, I don't know, I cannot figure it out. Kyle would also thank you if you could help me sort this issue out, but I really think I need to order one of those like shampoo and conditioner dispensers just to kind of help keep my issue a little minimized and also keep my shower a bit more organized. But anyway, I'm just starting the process of cleaning my shower by emptying everything out. I am taking every single product out of the shower, setting it on the floor outside, and then I'm just spraying all the surfaces with Dawn on power wash again i feel like this product works so so well if you don't have this you can mix equal parts of dish soap and equal parts of vinegar 
that kind of does the same thing then once you have everything sprayed down you can just go ahead and scrub everything down you can use a broom if you don't have the scrubber but this scrubber does work really well especially on the walls I do have it linked in my Amazon favorites as well as I will have it linked down in the description box and once you have everything sprayed down and scrubbed down you're gonna just go ahead and rinse and I find that I like to work in sections that way the power wash isn't like drying anywhere and I'm really just making sure to thoroughly clean every section. So I have found that the tile scrubber that I was talking about earlier works best for shower walls but also a simple broom that we use for the bathtub works great for shower floors. I personally feel like a combo of those two is best but you can definitely use one or the other if you only have one on hand. So here I'm just starting to put everything back into the clean shower and you might have noticed in that previous clip the cracks on my heels. I feel like they have been so terrible lately and just like getting really deep. I know this is so random and off topic and has nothing to do with cleaning but you guys always have the best tips. So if you have any tips for either making the cracks better or especially if you have any tips that you've tried and work really well for completely getting rid of the cracks, I would be so incredibly grateful. They've kind of gotten to the point where they actually are very painful to walk on some days. I think I definitely got that from my mom because I remember she always had cracks in her feet too So it's definitely a struggle that she's dealt with as well, but seriously any tips at all. I would so appreciate it One of the last things that I wanted to do in the bathroom, aside from the floors of course, is to deep clean the toilet. I do clean our toilets multiple times a week, so this kind of falls more under the everyday cleaning category, not so much the deep cleaning spring cleaning category, but I still wanted to make sure to clean them today just because I was going through and cleaning everything else and I didn't want to have like a fully clean bathroom and then a messy toilet. So I went ahead and just tackled that one, crossed that one off the list as well. We 
finally have the bathroom all nice and clean. It feels so good in there. I'm gonna open this up because it is feeling very hot in here, especially just like, you know, working, moving around in here. But now we really just have my bedroom, which although it's like a larger space, I feel like it's not near as in need of like super deep cleaning like bathrooms always need. So I'm gonna start again from top to bottom. I'll show you guys some up close of the dust on the fan. It's always rough, I don't know why. And then we're gonna work on bedding. Of course, before we do all that, I just need to do like a quick little tidy in the bedroom and then we can kind of finish tackling the rest of our list. Oh, ceiling fans. I have like a love hate. I love them on normal days and I hate that when I look up, I feel like they are always dirty. It never fails. I feel like they don't stay very clean or dust free for long. And this is another one of those things that I wish that I could clean more often, but I just feel like it's a bit more of an in-depth task. And sometimes it's also one of those things that's like out of sight, out of mind. You just don't think about it daily. But in our house, our ceiling fans are basically always running, just kind of keeping the house cool and stirring up the air so you don't have like that stale air. And they are always, always, always dusty. At one point I was cleaning my fans every month and I feel like I've just kind of lost track of my monthly cleaning routine. And so those things are not happening as regularly so maybe that's something I need to kind of prioritize in the coming months now that everything is starting fresh and I can actually maintain some cleaner fans. The AC vent in our bedroom was next on the list and I don't think we've pulled this cover down to clean ever since we moved in, which was almost a year ago. I have no idea how we are about to be coming up on a year of living in our Arizona home. I just cannot believe it. It's gone by way, way fast and I feel like we are pretty much settled now, but I feel like it took us way longer than I would have expected. A part of me feels like it's taken us way longer than most people to feel settled and then whenever I talk to friends, they're kind of saying the same thing, like it takes them close to a year to feel feel really fully settled in their new home. So let me know if you are like us and it takes you quite a long time, like maybe even close to a year to feel fully settled in your new house or if you get settled pretty quickly. You guys will see in a minute, but this cat is so unbothered by anything that's going on around him. Felix is such a silly cat, but we just love him so much. So anyway, here I am just changing our sheets and I'm also gonna be swapping out our heavier duvet cover for our lighter summer one. And I'm also going to take this time while everything is off the bed to just spray a disinfectant and go ahead and disinfect our mattress.
I have been saving these lamps for our bedroom makeover for a couple months now, but with so many makeovers on our list, like we have all the bathrooms to do, we have my sister's house, we still have our boys' bedrooms on top of a few other spaces in our house that we really want to make over. So with all of those things kind of being on our projected to-do list, I just decided to not wait any longer and go ahead and swap these lamps out now. I have been so excited for them and I just have loved having them in our room and I feel like it's kind of started to to transition our room a little bit from like more of the farmhouse style that we had in our last home to a little bit more of like this modern boho style. I'm kind of struggling in our room because we do have our bedroom set, which I feel like is very farmhouse and it's not totally my style anymore, although I do love this bedroom set still. So if you have any ideas on kind of some ways to transition this room into a little bit more of our current style that we have going on throughout the rest of the house, you guys always come up with some of the best ideas. So I'm really excited to hear your tips on this one because I feel like this one's a little bit tricky. As you can see, I'm swapping out our duvet cover and I do have a little trick for this. If you have a duvet cover, it is so simple to put it on when you do this. So all you're gonna do is flip your duvet cover inside out and then lay it on your bed as normal. And then you're going to take your duvet insert and actually lay it on top of your duvet cover then you'll go ahead and secure all the corners and then you just flip it right side out and everything is exactly where it's meant to be. It works so, so well and it just helps you avoid fighting with the duvet cover. And I feel like duvet covers are always so interesting because I've heard in the comments a lot of people don't really know what a duvet cover is or they don't have a duvet. And here in the US, we typically have three different options. So we have a comforter, we also have a duvet cover with a duvet insert, or you have a quilt. I personally love the duvet covers and inserts or the quilts kind of depending on my mood and also depending on what the weather is outside. I've heard that a lot of other countries tend to use duvet covers all the time and a lot of you guys from other countries have told me that you have multiple duvet covers and that's just like how a lot of other countries do it. So I just always find it so interesting seeing how different people kind of do things and also the differences between different areas or different countries and kind of how everyone does things differently. But for us personally, I just prefer the quilts or duvet covers because they take up way less room in the wash and also way less room to store. All right, if you guys would like to vote on something, something else that I've been kind of working around in my mind is this back wall behind our bed. We are planning to paint that an accent color. Also adding some texture on the wall, not necessarily like shiplap or board and batten, but something kind of like that. I haven't quite convinced Kyle on that part yet, but we're still working on it. But let me know if you think we should do the navy blue color that we have up in our theater room and the same color that we had in our basement in our Utah home, or if you think it would look better in here with like that sage green color, the same color that we have in Kyle's and my accent walls in our offices and also on the built-ins. Or if you feel like that's going to be just too much of that color in our house, I'm not really sure. I've kind of gone back and forth on that idea. So let me know your thoughts on that one as well. I was shocked whenever I looked behind our dresser and it wasn't super terrible because I feel like underneath dressers and beds, 
under couch cushions. Those things have the craziest things. And then I remembered why it was not so bad and it's because we literally pulled it out just a few weeks before so that the painters could go ahead and paint the baseboards. So that's the reason why there's like really nothing crazy dirty back there. But I would love to hear what is the worst thing that you have ever found underneath a bed or a dresser. For us, I can never forget this, but years ago we found a sippy cup with milk that had been there for months. I honestly never even opened it up because you could just see from the outside it was disgusting and needless to say that sippy cup went straight into the trash. almost done. I do need to still mop all the floors, but one of the last spring cleaning items was to tackle our sliding glass door. I asked you guys if you had any ideas on how to do this because ever since moving in like nine months ago, which is insane to me that we've been here that long, but one of the things is on this door in particular, like I cannot get certain streaks out. Like see that one, even once I clean it with cleaning products, cleaning it with our e-cloths, it just nothing's working. It's really bad on the outside. A lot of you guys had recommended to try using like our Dawn dish spray, wipe it off, and then squeegee it that way. And I think we're gonna go ahead and try that today. On the inside, I'm obviously not gonna do that because that would make a mess, but I'm just gonna do my e-gloss on the inside and then do the Dawn dish spray on the outside. And then also, we are going to finally unbox our mirror. If you remember several months ago, I had ordered one. It took months and months to get in, then we opened it up and it was cracked. So I'm really hoping this one is not and we can get that installed once we get everything clean. Until the morning sun First day on earth, I fell into your eyes. Look at how our galaxies collide. Well, I'm super bummed about the mirror. You can kind of see the crack, it goes like way up the mirror on the side. I'm super bummed about it because I ordered this like back in August and then we had another one that was like completely spidered or whatever you call it across the middle of it. This one is definitely a better crack but I don't want to keep it if it's broken. I cannot recommend buying the mirror online but we did get it from Urban Outfitters and I do have to recommend their customer service. They've been really great both times so I'm gonna go ahead and get this packed up because they are gonna have UPS come pick it up for a return and then once I'm done with 
with that, I think all I have is just the hard floors. If you are still here with me watching, go ahead and drop an emoji down below because you are amazing. I'm so, so grateful that you guys come back every week and that you guys subscribe to my channel and you guys chat with me in the comments. I am just so incredibly grateful for this community and for the support that you guys give every single week. This August will actually be five years on YouTube and I seriously could not ever have imagined what it would turn into and YouTube came at a time where it was just such a blessing. As I've shared so many times before, I started this channel when I was kind of suffering from postpartum depression with our third little boy and it was just such a blessing to me and now YouTube has become such a big part of our lives and so I'm just so grateful for you guys. I feel like I say that a lot, but truly I am just so incredibly grateful that you're here. But anyway, that is going to be everything for today's video. Don't forget to get entered into that giveaway. And like I said, the upcoming spring cleaning videos are going to have giveaways included as well. And also that marathon video that will be coming up will also have a grand prize giveaway. So a lot of things to look forward to, plus a lot of makeovers and all the different videos that I plan to share. And if you missed my previous spring cleaning videos, I'm going to be adding my spring clean playlist right here so you can go ahead and get all caught up i hope you're having a wonderful day and i hope you have a great rest of the week and i cannot wait to see you in my next one bye guys Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode four in my spring cleaning series. We have been going throughout my entire house and deep cleaning everything from top to bottom. We've so far cleaned my kitchen, our living room, my bedroom and bathroom area. That was last time. And today we are in our boys' bedrooms and their bathroom areas as well. So this is going to be, I'm guessing, a pretty, you know, intense spring cleaning because I have walked through their bathrooms and they do need a lot of work. So we have a lot to get done. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. I wanna hear you say yeah. I, 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 I
I remember when my mother told me the best things they don't come easy. I had no idea how real that was. She said, Don't stop dreaming. You got to keep believing it will all be worth it one day. Oh, 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 oh. I can't believe I made it. I can't believe I made it. So before we get into all of the deep cleaning, you guys know I love to be transparent and show you guys all of the real life moments and just show you the true state of our home before we get into everything. I feel like there's always so much comparison in social media and I feel like there's always kind of a skewed view of reality and I know that's how it appears a lot of times but truly we are all so much more alike than we realize. We all have messy rooms, we all have dust on our fans and so on and so forth. Like we are just all so much more similar than we realize. So I always like to get a little up close and personal on those things and just show you what the camera doesn't fully pick up when you're far back and that way you can be a little bit easier on yourself and just know that you are not alone. So anyway right here I am just starting by stripping the boys bedding and getting the laundry started because that is going to be the thing that takes the very longest. So I'm just separating things into their quilt pile and also their sheets and then I'm just going to be doing two big loads and that's one reason why I love having quilts on the boys beds because they aren't really really flat and I'm actually able to wash all three of their quilts in one load. So I just want to take a moment and tell you guys how grateful I am for you and how thankful I am that you guys have been very patient with me over the last few weeks. If you guys follow me over on social media or you saw my community posts recently here on YouTube, I shared that my dad recently passed away unexpectedly. I feel like I've been kind of putting off doing this voiceover because this is the first time I've been editing a video since he passed away and it's just been a really hard few weeks. I'm so thankful that we've been able to spend time with our family and kind of sort through some of the emotions. It's definitely still feeling really fresh because it was less than a month ago. But even though it's been hard and it's kind of weird to be getting back into things, it is also comforting and just nice to kind of get back into regular life. I feel like it can be a good distraction. And so anyway, I actually don't wanna spend a whole lot of time kind of talking about all of that right now. But I did just want to say we are getting back into filming and we will be getting back into regular uploads. But just thank you so much for your patience and understanding and especially for all of your thoughts and prayers. A lot of you guys have reached out through comments or in messages or emails and just sending our family prayers. And it's just meant so, so much during this time. So thank you. You've got all my devotion. My love for you is deeper than the ocean. You're smoking hot. Huh? You're a supernova. Girl, you got my cup running over. She's a zombie. We are going to start tackling the windows. Windows are easily one of my least favorite things, at least like the window tracks, like wiping down a window isn't so much, but like cleaning the window tracks, it's not my favorite. But 
it must be done. So let me go ahead and tackle that next. I do have a little trick for you guys. I'm sure I've shared it in a few different videos. So anyway, basically what we're going to do, one thing is the Bissell Steam Shot works really, really well for this. But if you don't have that or you don't want to get it out, so what you're going to do is actually place the sponge like right on top of the windowsill. So you're going to put this right up to the edge and then you are going to draw a line on your sponge of where like each spot is. And you'll do that on both sides. And then you're going to take a little knife and you're actually going to kind of score down your sponge on those lines. So this is going to ruin your sponge, so you won't be able to really use it greatly after this. But especially if you have like the same windows, they're most likely going to have the same track. So you can use this for like all your windows. But you can see now they have slits in them and they'll go right over really, really well without having to use Q-tips or like anything really little. This will just shove right into all those little nooks and crannies. I'm in some dream when I look at you. Yeah, you. And I'm giving hot fives out for free to everyone I see just because I want to. What's up? I can't put my finger on it. Or find the words to explain. I just know. So if you've seen some of my spring cleaning videos for 2022, you guys know that I've been including a giveaway in every single one of those videos and today's video is no different. I feel like over the last few weeks, I have been even more grateful for you guys and just your support and love. And so it makes me so happy to be able to give back to you guys once again today. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving away an e-cloth bundle. This is going to include a variety of different e-cloths. If you guys have followed me for a long time, you guys know I've been using e-cloths for maybe five years now. It's been a really long time and I've loved them ever since finding out about them. And if you guys have already tried them out, you guys I'm sure love them as well. And if you haven't yet, then this is the perfect opportunity to go ahead and give them a shot. So all you have to do to enter is make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because this is a subscriber giveaway. And then just make sure to leave a comment on this video and that will be your entry into this giveaway. And that is going to be it. I will have all the information on that down below in the description box. But I also wanted to let you guys know that next week I'm going to be sharing a spring cleaning marathon, which will include all of my spring cleaning videos from this year. And in that video, I'm going to be having a massive grand prize giveaway, which will include all the different prizes that I've been giving away throughout this series. So you definitely do not want to miss out on that. That is going to be so much fun to give one of you guys that grand prize. So definitely stay tuned for that. And just a heads up, all you're going to have to do to end for the grand prize giveaway is making sure that you have commented on each of the spring cleaning series videos but of course I will chat a little bit more about that in next week's video so stay tuned So over the last few weeks, ever since my dad passed away, I have had an overwhelming feeling of just really trying to be intentional with my time and intentional with my actions as well. So that has just kind of led me down the path of really realizing that I want our homes to serve us better. I really want to do anything that I can that will give us more time with one another, with our family, with our friends, and just doing things that we really enjoy. I think cleaning is so important. You guys know I talk about that all the time where I just do feel like we should take pride in our homes and just creating a peaceful space for our families to live in. 
But a big part of that is actually putting things in place that helps us not have to just be in the rat race of just cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. I think if you can successfully put organization in place and make over different spaces to kind of suit you better, it will actually be able to serve you better and not make you just spend all of your time cleaning everything. So with sharing all of that, I am just trying to say that going forward, I feel like we are going to be really focusing on house projects, makeovers, whether it's in our home or family or friend's home, and also homemaking videos. I feel like those kind of videos are going to, one, help our own family a lot, but also help give you guys ideas for your own home. So a lot of those videos are going to be kind of prioritized, so definitely stay tuned for all of that. So these windows in Noah's room, I'm not sure. I'm gonna see if I can kind of show you how they look. The other ones have come clean with just dusting, like there was nothing stuck on them. These ones have like a dirt film on the backside. I'm thinking maybe they've been left open like when it's raining or something. And that's the only reason I can think like why there would be so much like dust splatters on here. But I'm definitely gonna have to go ahead and wipe them down and do a little bit deeper clean. But first I will show you an F close of how they're looking. <laughs> party make a toast it's a party every day so anywhere you go all across the coast. here i am just using my e-cloth this one is just the general purpose e-cloth and this is what i use to wipe down our counters to wipe down mirrors to wipe down windows all the things this is one of my favorite cloths and one that i use basically every single day and my other favorite that you will see me use later on is going to be the glass and polishing cloth so those two are my favorite e-cloths and the ones that i feel like are definitely game changers for me and just like my must-haves but anyway all i'm doing is just wiping down the blinds with my e-cloths which of course i'm using just water with that and then i'm just vacuuming any loose bits from the windowsill and then wiping down the actual windowsill with my cut up sponge making some good progress. I feel like it's going slow, but we're making progress. So that's all that matters. But now it's time to tackle the sheets and kind of start drying the bedding. It's been a while since we felt the way we did back when we were dumb and younger. It's been a while since I looked into your eyes and saw starlight, both bright colors. Yeah, when I'm down, when I'm dry, no one else. My love, I would choose you. Finally, I am moving on to Liam's bedroom and this is what I was talking about earlier when I was kind of talking about creating spaces that actually serve us better. In all of our boys' rooms, it's kind of the same story, but like for example, here in Liam's room, there really isn't a lot of spots for things to stay organized. Like there is no bookshelves or drawer organization or coat hooks, unless if they are freshly cleaned, they don't really have a home to go to. And so they just end up piling up and it just makes it really hard to keep these spaces clean and organized. And it also is not very inviting for not only our but also for our kids. So that's just one of the reasons why I'm really excited to kind of prioritize our boys' bedrooms and just other makeovers. 
because while our boys' bedrooms are functional in the way that they have a bed and they have some space for their toys and they also have a dresser, they don't have any of our boys' personalities in their rooms and it also just does not stay clean for long because we don't have those organization pieces in place. But all of that is definitely going to change with the makeovers. This window has those little like dirt splatters as well. Kind of like all over here just seems very dirty, but then you see all that? It's crazy. You were sitting in the front seat. I was staring, I was caught up in the glory. Till the night started turning into morning, and I was hoping you would never leave. Bony Vare in a secret. I was hoping, I was praying you were leaving. You can do better, and I think that you can see it. I think it's time for me to make a move. Cause we both know this is not the way you talk to just a friend. I won't miss my chance. I know you might break me if I say what's on my mind. And I know the risk I'm taking. See the yes or it's goodbye. But I'm lost in the eye and wonder. I'm surrounded on every side. Every word you say is thunder. Don't worry, love, take your time. Cause I know this is out of my hands. I know this is out of my hands. I know everything is ruined. Can't go back to what it was cause it's moving I'll be holding on to you or I'll be losing Every memory we never made it's you, for you guys will have to let me know what the weather has been where you live here in the phoenix area it's getting to triple digits finally and i feel like because we are getting into summer and we live in phoenix the weather has been kind of a hot topic here but i for one am so excited for the triple digits the heat has never really bothered me and so i'm just so excited to see that warmth coming but i would love to hear what the weather has been like wherever you live all right, now that I have all the boys' bedrooms cleaned up and tidied, and we have like the windows done, we have the fans clean, I still don't have the bedding on the bed just because that's still in the wash or drying. But now that we have everything else done, I'm going to go ahead and slow vacuum all the boys' rooms, and then we'll move on to bathrooms. Alright, show of hands, let me know if you have started slow vacuuming since I began sharing about this a few years back. Slow vacuuming is something that I find a lot of people don't do, but once they start doing it, they are so hooked. It's really amazing to see what can come out of your floors when you take the time to just vacuum over it slowly. So if you are new to this process, all you're going to do is just vacuum your floors as usual. And then I personally like to empty out the canister just so that I can see how much extra I'm actually getting out of my floors. It just kind of motivates me to continue on with slow vacuuming because it is a little bit more time consuming, of course. But once you do your regular vacuum and empty your canister, then you are literally just going to vacuum your floors extra slowly in the boys room it probably takes me about five minutes to do this so it's not really time consuming but it can be if you have a lot of spaces to do but i like to do this on our carpets and rugs every couple weeks i just find that it makes our carpets extra fluffy and also a lot a lot cleaner the sky. Ladder up 
together Your smile makes the universe much better We'll take this ladder up together Your smile makes the universe much better Feel like we should be really close to being done but we still have both of the bathrooms so i'm currently in liam's bathroom you guys know we are planning on several different makeovers around the house and the boys bathrooms are definitely one of them liam has like some lime green noah and luke's has some bright bright in your face pink <laughs> And they also have like really rough light fixtures. Not just that the style isn't our style, but like it's literally broken. So as I was coming in here, kind of like seeing how much work everything was gonna be in here, I guess, I was looking up at the light fixtures and I was like, ah, is it even worth getting up there to clean these? Here's the thing, I always think, oh, in the next month we're gonna get this done. And then life happens and we have football practice all the nights and we have football games and we have all the things. I feel like life just is constantly throwing stuff at you. You have all these plans and then the daily stuff happens and plans go out the window. So that's why the boys' bedrooms are not yet made over. Our bedroom's not yet made over. Bathrooms are not yet made over. We're gonna get to them. I just don't know realistically when. I would like to say in the next two months, but who knows? So I don't even know if I'm gonna climb up there and work on those ones because the only thing that's really dirty are the light bulbs and that's honestly like why we haven't even like fixed the two burnt out bulbs because it's still bright enough in here without those two and we're like I don't know if we want to go spend money on a bulb that we're probably not going to use once we make over the space so I cannot wait for makeovers all over but especially in their bathrooms it's just gonna be amazing see like here's the pink bathroom one two three half the bulbs are burnt out we haven't fixed them I just don't know if we want to spend the money but we're gonna clean it as best we can Here I'm just starting to clean the bathrooms by clearing everything off the counters and I always get questions about our boys toothpaste holder. We love them and we have had them for several years now and I feel like it really helps them getting the right amount and believe it or not, it actually helps them make less mess with toothpaste. But I will have this one linked down below. And it also should be saved in my Amazon favorites, which is where I link all of the things from our home from Amazon. We have a ton of things from our kitchen to cleaning to home decor items. So if there's something you see me cleaning with or something in our home that you like, there is a pretty good chance that it's over on my Amazon favorites, which is always linked down below in the description box.
So once again, you're seeing me use my ink cloths. That cloth that I was drying the mirror with is the one I was talking about earlier. That's the glass and polishing cloth. It's amazing how it does not streak anything. Like it doesn't streak your stainless steel appliances. It doesn't streak mirrors or windows. It's just like a magical little cloth. So this is just one of the cloths that I'm going to be including in today's giveaway. So if you win today's giveaway, you are definitely going to be getting the hookup. I just love these cloths and how versatile they are. clean the boys showers I'm just using my Dawn dish spray or power wash dish spray and then my OXO scrub brush this works super super well I like to kind of pull everything out just quickly spray down the shower then liberally spray this on everywhere and then I'm just going to scrub it down with this Okay, so I still need to tackle the floors in this bathroom, but I want to do more than just like a good mop in here. I'm actually going to be trying out a new product and like trying to deep clean the grout, but it says it has to stay on there for hours. I want to do that very last. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop into our pink bathroom, <laughs> Luke and Noah's bathroom, and get this one cleaned up just as much as the other one, and then we'll work on the actual floors. So editing this video right now, I am laughing because the song that was just playing says, this feels like paradise as I'm sharing all of the messy real life moments. So I just had to laugh at like the timing of that, but it just made me feel like really life is so good. And I feel like really over the past few weeks, I have definitely felt like I could sway either one way or the other. I could feel very bitter and very frustrated. And I definitely have felt those feelings and emotions during this time but the other way that we could feel is focus on the good because there really is so many blessings and so much good in life so I've really been practicing what I preach and I've just been trying to do my best to look past the negatives in life and really try to appreciate our blessings so for example I'm not trying to focus on the mess in our bathroom but instead I'm really feeling grateful that we have a bathroom and that I also have the ability to clean it so Things like that really can kind of help you put things in perspective and it can also just help you appreciate and be generally happier in life, which I feel is the best way to live because this life really is very short and we should just be doing all that we can to enjoy it and make the most of it.
So I've shared this with you guys in several videos in the past, but a few years ago, I figured out you can actually use just a basic broom, even a broom from Dollar Tree. It does not have to be anything fancy, but you can use a broom to clean your bathtubs and showers. It's so easy. It really saves your back. And because you have like those tough bristles on there, it actually does a very good job at scrubbing everything and just getting your bathtub and shower really nice and clean. So if you don't have one of these shower scrubbers, don't worry, go pick yourself up a broom from Dollar Tree and you will be amazed at how clean it gets your shower. And you'll be thanking me later because your back won't be hurting. All right, I have broke a sweat, you guys. Deep cleaning is just getting me, but I am happy that I've been breaking it up. I just feel like it's been so, so much more doable. Anyway, we have all the bathrooms clean, floors are clean, we have all the bedrooms clean, minus I still have to put the boys' sheets and bedding back on. The only thing that I have left is actually cleaning the grout. I've never used this product, but it was on Amazon. It had really good reviews. This says you literally just like, almost like cook it onto the grout lines and then you leave it for like five or six hours. My instinct is to scrub it in and then leave it, but I'm just gonna try out how they say first. And then if that doesn't work, then maybe tomorrow I'll go through and like scrub it in. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna do now. Go ahead and just cook this onto like all of the grout lines. I'm gonna show you some up closes of these because you will see like it literally looks like you have dark grout. You can see like up against the sides. It is like a very light color. So this is literally just dirt, 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 dirty grout. Let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, so I even think this is still dirty in here Like you can see that's not the right color But then like you come over here and it's literally like dark 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 brown So it honestly it just looks very very gross like even when the floors are clean It just always looks dirty. So we'll see if this stuff works We are going to have to wait for this to cure or clean or whatever it's going to do for like five to six hours. So honestly, I'm probably not even gonna mess with it until tomorrow morning and I'll kind of update you guys on how it works. It wasn't quite enough to do it in Liam's bathroom as well. So I only got most of Luke and Noah's bathroom done. I would say like 90%, at least like all the really bad grout lines. So we'll go ahead and let that sit. I'm gonna close the door so the boys don't go in there and then that will be off limits for the next day. But let's go ahead and check and see if their bedding is dry. You tore up every page that we turn. My best friend's telling me you're insane.
So this is exactly why I made sure to start the laundry first thing when I started cleaning because it was the first thing I did and now it's like the last thing that I'm doing to finish everything up. But I did end up getting all the sheets and blankets washed and also dried in time for the evening. I feel like sometimes when I'm cleaning, I regret not having multiple sheets for each bed because then I could just like swap them out and not have that pressure of having to get everything washed and dried before everyone goes to sleep that night. But we have just decided that it works out best for us to only have one set for each bed and that's just because of simplicity in storage and we don't have to like worry about folding and storing extra sets of sheets. With that being said, Kyle's in my bed does have one additional set of sheets, so we do like to kind of swap back and forth between those, but for our boys in the guest bedroom, we do have just the one set of sheets. So let me know if you guys have multiple sets of sheets for each bed, or if you guys are like us and only have one set per bed. So I wanted to share a really quick update on the grout. I would personally not recommend the grout cleaner that I used unless if I was using it improperly. As you guys saw, I went through, put it on every little bit of grout in Luke and Noah's bathroom. And then I came back today and I started wiping it off and it was like not making a big difference at all. So then I started using this Rubbermaid Reveal. I've had this for a few years. It comes with like different heads. And it's almost like a power toothbrush, but for cleaning, I scrubbed it off. This did work. However, then I went back over to Liam's bathroom just to see if it scrubbed off any easier in Luke and Noah's since they had that cleaner. And it really didn't seem to make much of a difference. It was slightly easier to clean off, but I feel like I could have gotten the same or better results just using like the Dawn dish spray or something. So I'm going to try just a few things and I'll kind of show you guys what I try. And then I can give you like a better recommendation if you guys have really dirty grout like us. So so just to show you this is kind of how it was looking yesterday and this is how it looks now once I scrubbed it with this but I also did the same thing on one of the spots in Liam's bathroom and his looks just like that except I didn't actually put that really stinky grout cleaner on. So as you'll see, I ended up trying out several different things. The first thing I tried out was our Bissell Steam Shot and this honestly worked okay but I feel like you would have had to spend a lot of time and still scrubbed it. So it wasn't my favorite. The next one was the Rubbermaid Reveal and Water, and that one actually worked fairly well, especially considering it was just water. The next thing I used was the Dawn Dish Spray with that scrubber, and that one worked pretty well, but I feel like that one actually made the floors just really hard to clean up because it was so sudsy. And then after that, I ended up trying the Magic Eraser, and the Magic Eraser worked really, really well. Like that was one of my favorites. However, if you have a Lot of grout it's going to take a lot of elbow grease next I tried out the pink stuff along with that scrubber and that one was probably my least favorite I feel like it was the least effective so I would not really recommend that one and then the final one was the mrs. Myers baking soda cream cleaner along with that scrubber of course and that was by far my most favorite I feel like that one worked the best with the least amount of work now this grout is original to the house so it's about 16 years old and I honestly don't think that it's ever really been deep cleaned before and so I really am going to have to go back through and re deep clean this again I think but the Mrs. Myers baking soda cream cleaner and that Rubbermaid reveal was my top favorites but I would love to hear your grout cleaning tips if you guys have any good ones to share leave them in the comments below
so that is going to be everything for today's video and to finish up the spring cleaning series for 2022. I hope that it's been motivating for you and I hope it's been helpful just seeing all the different ways that I clean things and the lists that I use and everything. I did want to mention I do get a lot of questions about what list I use and I just create mine myself on the iPhone reminders app but I do have a free printable list over on my website which is just this crazy life vlog.com so feel free to go over there and print that out if that will help you this year. I also wanted to share a quick reminder to make sure you're commenting on this video so that you don't miss out on the giveaway and you can be eligible to win that. Of course make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on future uploads because we have a lot of great things coming. As always thank you so so much for being here. I am so beyond grateful for your love and support and I cannot wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys!